Welcome to another video tutorial. In this one, we'll be going through how we can connect QGIS to Azure Blob Storage. And creating that connection between the two means that we can grab data that we have stored in Azure and plot it in QGIS. And it also means that whenever our data in Azure updates, we just have to click refresh on QGIS and the data on our map should also update. So these points that you can see on the map here have come from my Azure account. So I'll delete those and go through step by step from the start how we can um, how we can pull that data from Azure into our map. So I'll remove layer, and the first thing we need to do is give QGIS our Azure login details, and we can pass it our login details as an environment variable. So environment variables can be set from QGIS by going to Settings, Options, and down to this Environment tab here, or under the System tab on the left. So I've already got mine set here, but I'll just remove it and do it again so you can see how it's done. We get this information from our Azure account. If you go to your web page, here's my Azure account. I'm currently in my container where I have my shapefile that I had loaded into QGIS open. I just want to go back up to my um, account page and go to access keys. And to access the keys for my account, I want the connection string. This is what I'm going to give to QGIS so it knows which uh, where my account lives. If we go show keys, and I'll just copy this connection string from key one here. And the tricky thing is we want most of this connection string, but not the whole thing. So before we paste that into QGIS, I'm going to paste it into Notepad so you can see what you need. And it's jumped right to the end of the string here. You can see at the end, um, what's not blurred is this endpoint suffix equals corewindows.net after a semicolon. We just want to remove everything, including that semicolon and onwards. So now we've, de after deleting that last bit of this connection string, I can copy this, go to QGIS and add an environment variable. The value is going to be what we just copied and the variable is going to be all in caps, Azure underscore storage underscore access underscore key. Click OK. I think that seems like it's registered. And the next thing we can do is add our layer. Now we're all set to do that. So we'll just go to Layer, Data Source Manager. Uh, uh, I want to add a vector layer, but the same procedure you'd follow to add a raster layer. I'll come to vector and select protocol, HTTPS, cloud, etc. And in this type, I'll select Microsoft Azure Blob. And that's going to give me the options of passing a bucket or container and object key. So I'll tell you where to get those things from. Coming back to my Azure account. If I go to containers, that's where my map data is stored. I just have this one container called container1. And within that container is the shape files that I want to plot. So these are my points. The shape file is called points underscore one, and that is within container1. So in bucket or container, I um, give it container1. Object key is points underscore one dot shape. So then I could just add that to my map, like this. So that's worked well. The next thing we want to test is if we update points one in our Azure account to be some different data, will it also update in our map? So just in my container, I'm going to click Upload and search for some points, also called points one. But I know they're in a different location. So I'll overwrite those, load, come to QGIS, hit refresh, and now the points have jumped to Wellington.
which is good to see. So I hope that's been helpful with connecting your Azure account to QGIS. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to add a comment. Thank you for watching.